The Russian fleet is paralyzed in the Azov Black Sea region, said the Speaker of the Naval Forces of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Dmitry Pletenchuk. Moscow still considers itself a powerful maritime power, but in reality, the Black Sea Fleet, after the defense forces destroyed about a third of its ships, is not able to influence the course of hostilities, Freedom reports. Even though some units of the Russian fleet could be transferred to inland waters, they will not do this because they cannot cope even with the units that they have in the Black Sea Fleet, which is actually paralyzed in the Azov Black Sea region. As for other water areas, such as the Mediterranean, they also cannot get here from there," commented the Speaker of the Naval Forces of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Dmitry Pletenchuk, on the air of the United News Marathon. Since the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion, the armed forces of Ukraine have destroyed about a third of the ships of the Russian Black Sea Fleet. The list of losses includes different types of military vessels, from missile cruisers and large landing ships to patrol and landing boats. Of course, it is more difficult for the Russians to land. To do this, they need to suppress our coastal missile systems, which are located on our coast in the Odessa and Mykolaiv regions. Moreover, they lost a lot of landing ships, said Andriy Rizenko, captain of the 1st Reserve rank, deputy chief of staff of the Ukrainian army. From the 10th to the 16th of September, after a two-year hiatus, the Russian Navy conducted the Okin-24 strategic exercise. The propaganda media reported that more than 400 ships, 120 aircraft and 90,000 troops took part in the maneuvers. Operations were carried out in the Barents, Baltic, Mediterranean and Caspian Seas as well as in the Pacific and Arctic Oceans. The report of the Ministry of Defense of Great Britain says that the declared amount of Russian weapons is greatly exaggerated. The exercises were indeed held in these areas, but Russia almost certainly greatly exaggerated these figures since at present only about 300 ships can take part in them. The Ocean 24 exercise was probably an attempt to demonstrate capabilities despite the war, suggested UK Ministry of Defense on X. According to experts, the Russian Federation is also trying to create a threat on the Pacific frontier. Recently, the diesel-electric submarine B610 Yakutsk of Project 636 Varshavyanka was launched in St. Petersburg. Submarines of this type are carriers of caliber missiles. Yakutsk became the sixth submarine of this class in the Pacific Fleet of Russia. At least one person was killed in a fire at the small Pars Petroshushta refinery in Iran's Khazestan province, state media reported. Iranian state media, citing the governor of Shushter town, said, the fire is under control, but firefighters and rescue workers remain on alert at the scene. A local authority attributed the cause of the incident to a tanker collision with gasoline tanks and said the incident is under investigation. A local official in Iran's southwestern province of Khazestan told state news agency Erna that several people were also injured. Footage broadcast on Iranian state television showed large flames engulfing the facility and thick black smoke billowing into the sky. This incident follows a similar incident in March when one person lost their life in a fire at an oil refinery in the southern Iranian port of Bandar Abbas.
One person was killed and at least three others were injured in what the Israeli police described as a nationalistically motivated attack on Tuesday. The shooting occurred on a two-lane highway in the city of Jabna. Speaking to Israeli media, ACIA Haroni, a police spokesman, described the incident as a terror attack. One man injured in the attack died as he was brought to Asyuta Hospital, spokesperson for the hospital, Ohad Yehezkeli, said. Israeli police say one officer was killed and four civilians were wounded in a shooting Tuesday on a highway in central Israel. Police did not immediately provide the identity of the shooter, but police spokeswoman, Mirat Ben Mayer, said that it was a militant attack. Police said the attacker approached the highway and shot the officer before firing on civilians, wounding four. The attacker was then shot by a paramedic arriving on the scene, Israel's rescue services said, without saying whether the attacker was killed. The shooting occurred on a two-lane highway near the city of Jabna, just south of Tel Aviv. Ohad Yehezkeli, a spokesperson for nearby Asyuta Hospital, said the officer died on the way there and another civilian was being treated for moderate injuries. He said two more wounded people were being transported to the hospital. Palestinians have carried out dozens of stabbing, shooting and car ramming attacks against Israelis since Hamas' October 7 attack triggered the war in Gaza.